Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a physical exercise that is good for your focus. Now, any exercise that you do that requires you to really concentrate, otherwise you're going to stuff it up, is good for your focus. Uh, when we do memory training for memory competitions, we're actually working on the memory techniques and we're exercising our memory, but we're also getting better at using our focus, at concentrating on the given task at hand and not getting distracted by outside noise or the chatter that's going on inside your head. And so this is a really good skill on its own to have for when you wanna do anything or learn anything. Uh, I'm actually doing this exercise seated on a chair uh, for those who might like to follow along that way, otherwise you can stand up. But either way, you wanna be nice and tall and you wanna put your hands out to the side, sort of in a W shape. Uh, now I call this exercise quacky because I'm gonna make little quacky, quack, quack, quack um, shapes with my hands. Uh, and so we're going a quack, quack, quack. Um, you're gonna bring one arm in, quack, so elbows are down. You're gonna then lift that one above your head, quack, Bring it down, quack, out to the side, quack. Just get that going a few times on that first side. And then give it a go on the second side. Quack, quack, like so. So far, pretty easy. We're gonna mix things up a little bit, make it a bit more challenging. So what we're doing now is we're going quack, quack. As the top hand comes up, it doesn't quack. The side one does, quack. And then they come down and quack. Do that a few times on that side, so quack, quack, top arm doesn't quack, 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 top arm doesn't quack, quack. Give that a go on the other side, quack, quack, top arm doesn't quack, 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 top arm doesn't quack, quack. Uh, we'll give it a go now a little bit faster and alternating the arms, and if you need to pause at any point and sort of slow it down and slowly speed it up, please do that as well. So quack. Quack, top arm, no quack, 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 top arm, no quack, 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 no quack, quack. Try and speed it up a bit now. So we're going quack, quack, top arm, no quack, 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 top arm, no quack, quack. Once you get the hang of that, we want to make it a little bit more challenging again. And now if this is tomorrow for you, that's also fine. You can come back and visit this again. It's also normal for people to feel like this is actually working their arms a little bit. And that's because you're sort of keeping this elbow down and lifting it up and down as well. What we're gonna do now is we're going to go quack, quack, top arm doesn't quack. Then as you bring this one down, this arm quacks and this hand doesn't. So we're swapping around now. So we're going quack, quack, top hand doesn't quack, side hand doesn't quack. Give that a go a few times on the first side. Until that feels normal, as normal as that can feel. And then give it a go on the other side. So we're going quack, quack, top arm doesn't quack, side arm doesn't quack, 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 top arm doesn't quack, side arm doesn't quack. A couple of goes till it feels normal. Now you guessed it, we're gonna alternate arms. So we're going quack, quack, top arm, no quack, side arm, no quack, swap arms, quack. Quack, top arm, no quack, side arm, no quack. And try and speed it up if we can. Right, if you've got that one, uh, we're going to add another little challenge. If you don't quite have that one yet, just keep going on that and come back to this later. You guessed it, what's happening now is we start saying quack, quack, top arm no quack, side arm no quack, swap side. So now it's this one that quacks and not this one. And then on the next quack, they both quack as the, hand, the opposite hand comes forward. So let's just try that on one side first. So we're going quack. Quack, top arm no quack, side arm no quack, other arm no, no quack. Again. Then you do it again. Um, what we're gonna do now is try on the other side and then we'll swap sides. So we're going quack, quack, top arm doesn't quack, side arm doesn't quack, opposite side arm cracks. Again, quack, top arm no quack, side arm no quack, opposite side arm no quack. Let's alternate. Quack, quack, top, side, out, 
together. That's the hard bit, swapping arms, right? So we're going here, here, top arm, no crack, side arm, no crack, side arm, no crack. And now it's the opposite hand that comes in and they both crack. So whenever one arm comes forward, they both crack. And that sort of um, can help you sort of keep on track of that. Crack, crack. How did you go? Um, we're gonna work on this. Actually in upcoming videos, we are going to make it a little bit harder for those who want a further challenge where we're gonna uh, include some legs and then actually include a change of directions as well. So we're gonna build on this one. Uh, you need to practice it and really just focus on which hand you need to do next and focus on those couple of little tricks as well to make it easier. When the hands come forward, they both click. Um, the other little trick in there is actually that um, you know, when they come forward, they both click, then the top one, then the side one, then this side one's clicked. Whichever one has clicked when they're both out to the side, that's the one that comes forward. So we go click, 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 click. Because this hand has just done the click and they're both out to the side, this is the one that comes forward. I hope that makes sense. I hope you give it a good practice and let me know how you go. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please do so. And that way you'll know when my new videos come out. Uh, if you want some more exercises like this, there's some links down below to follow and try out the others. Or if you want some more traditional memory training exercises, check out my other videos as well.